Cody Rhodes was off to a hot start to his WB run before being sidelined with a torn pec. And now we have a positive update on his recovery heading into WrestleMania season, heading into the Royal Rumble on January 28th. And in this video, we are going to do a deep dive into what that update is. So look, Rhodes was pushed as a top star ever since he returned to WrestleMania 38. He had some really, really good matches with Seth Rollins. His last match happened at the Hell in a Cell event before he underwent surgery for the torn pec. One sideline, there was speculation he could make his WWE return at the Royal Rumble on January 28th as a surprise entrant in the Men's Royal Rumble match. And that leads us to our latest update. Dave Meltzer reported in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that the American Nightmare's recovery seems to be right on track and Rhodes' recovery is going well. Meltzer did add that Rhodes is back to normal when it comes to his ability to train and and really he seems to be good. He hasn't got his medical, you know, uh, clearance yet or anything like that, but like Meltzer did say no word on when he'll return, but it would make sense for him to be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble match. And I 100% agree. A torn pec usually keeps one out of action for about six to nine months. Rhodes has been out pretty much on that timeline, right? And uh, May, it's December. Do the math on that. I won't. Uh, but, like, Rhodes has publicly stated that, you know, his medical team has told him that they will not give him a timetable for him to return because he doesn't want to push himself too hard or whatnot. But, like, Royal Rumble makes complete sense to me. Uh, he's He's been lifting a lot. I'd like to see it. If WB doesn't do Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39, give Rhodes a title shot then. I'd like to see it. Either way, Rhodes should win the uh, men's Royal Rumble match, in my opinion.